Hey, y'all, Trevelli here. Welcome back to another vlog. Uh, it's the end of the season. Preseason is in full swing. And I think it's a good time to look back on what we did right and what we did wrong this season. Uh, right off the bat, uh, you know, early in the season, I started ADC, switched to mid. I was supposed to track my progress. Um, I ended up really only putting up these logs when I started uh, climbing in... Climbing, my, climbing in ranked. That's a that's that's a little wrong. I should have been a lot more. Uh, I should have been discussing my climb a little bit more. I think that really could have helped me. Um, something I did right. Uh, I started recording my games with Plays.TV and uh, OBS uh, local recording. Uh, that that did help. I feel especially towards the beginning when I was first doing it a little bit more uh, routinely. Uh, near the middle, I sort of stopped. Like, I was still recording, but I wasn't going over my games. I wasn't looking at my mistakes. And really, if, if you're not reviewing your games, then there's really no point in recording it. I mean, eventually I was like, oh, eventually I was saving games where I played really well. And, I mean, you don't, you don't need that. You know, well, maybe just a little morale booster, but... You need the games where you lose are way more important for learning than the games that you win. I mean that's that's very obvious, you know. And I wasn't taking advantage of the fact that I was recording just about all of my games. Um So that I got right now even on my computer saved I have a maybe at least twenty games that I could upload. Some of them are I get stomped, some of them I do really well, some of them are my plat one promo games where, uh, like, I just flat out lose. Those were probably really important to look over. And I sort of failed myself by not reviewing. You know, sometimes it's, it's that same, I mentioned this in another vlog, that same mentality, really like quicksand or like a tar pit sort of thing, where you're in, like, the more, you, like, you just want to, like, rush through it and you end up just like sinking further and further and the more you struggle the further you sink and it's and it just sucks because then you're not then what are you really doing you know because one the games are less fun when you play like that you know just flat out it's less fun you rage at your teammates more all that sort of things and two you're not doing anything you know you're just going through the motions so you're not improving you're not like it's basically the same as flipping a coin, you know. If you're playing like that, like oh, you do, you win or you don't. That's it. But that's not that's not the game, you know. Especially in League of Legends, where it's so hard to practice certain things, you have to go into every game like with the best attitude you can, because that's how you're going to improve. And I think thematically for the whole year, whole rank season 2017, the idea has been you only improve by trying to improve you know and in the, in the very last vlog i said you don't improve by accident you know it doesn't matter if you play a thousand games maybe you'll learn some things you know maybe but if you're not making a conscious effort you're probably not getting better you know some people are you know really intense with their gaming and if you give them enough games they'll learn everything without even having to meta game or watch streams or whatever but i don't think the majority of people are like this or like that. I think when it comes to mostly everything, you have to practice. And that's in this game, you know, as hard as it can, it, as hard as it may be to practice, you have to, you have to go into certain games with the mentality that you are practicing, not just normal. And ranked, obviously, you're ranked, you want to win. But, and I mean, you're not going to play a new champion because you have to practice him in ranked, you know, and be a, be a burden on your teammates but even if you play the same champion 200 times 300 times 100 times you have to go into every game like you're practicing you know like your role your goal sorry isn't always to win your goal has to be to improve you know because winning winning will come with you getting better and i think that's especially noticeable when when you have a really hard time climbing that means that you're not doing the improving part. You know, you're just playing 
and you can't you won't get better just playing you'll get better by improving well <laughs> you'll get better by practicing which will lead to improving and improving will lead to climbing that's like the surefire way to climb and like I didn't do that every game and it's super noticeable between the games I do and the games I don't like the feeling is just different you know the attitude is just different and I'm hoping no I'm going to improve so much more because I'm going to fix my attitude and I'm going to make an act a better, bigger effort to improve and that will lead to my climb that's uh i mean we're in preseason now i sort of want to play ranked just so i can maybe push my mmr a little further like if i can play if i can get enough games in i can i'll hit plat one and maybe hit the top of plat one that way next season after my uh after my placements hopefully i get placed in plat one and then I can spend the rest of the season just trying to make that jump to diamond. Because if I end up getting plat 5, like, even if I'm good enough, you know, there'll still be some stumbling up and down. And that might, like, that might mess up my MMR and who knows what. Like, if I can be where I, if I can start from a good place, I feel like I can get better practice in, improve a little faster. And finally, climb to where I want to climb. I mean, well, we're getting... I'm jumping around a little place. Another thing I did wrong this season was I didn't play the champions I knew were strong. You know? Like in one of my first... I think the very first vlog, I mentioned how Cassidy is really strong and I should abuse him. You know? Because if you watch Dopa, Apto Dopa, he really only... I mean, he plays three champions, or played last season. Twisted Fate, uh, Oriana, and Cassidy. I tried playing Twisted Fate. I think I need, I, I, maybe I could have practiced him a little bit more, but he wasn't really... I don't think he was really my style at the end of the day, which you can't really help. But I didn't play Cassidy enough, and I didn't play Oriana at, at all, basically. Like, you don't have to have an, a, like an immense, super deep champion pool, but... You should play stronger. You should play the champs that you know are strong. If your goal is to climb, you know. If, like when I just when I started playing Anivia, I liked her a lot because I felt like I was winning a little easier than with uh, like Twisted Fate or Cassidy or Cassiopeia because I was really into Cassiopeia for a while. But then I discovered Anivia and I sort of just tunneled in on just getting really good with her. Because if you're good, like you'll you'll climb playing even your t you know B tier champions. If you're that good, you'll you'll climb. You know, like there's people that like one trick, like bunch of that one trick a champion all the way to like high diamond or even masters. Like and they're not always playing these S tier champions. You know, sometimes they're playing straight up B tier champions and they're still climbing pretty high. So I figured like. Is it better to invest a bunch of time into learning Oriana? Or is it better to invest a bunch of time into playing Anivia the best that I can? You know? Um, I like Anivia a lot. I'm glad I play her as much as I do. But I think in certain games, you do need that flexibility that a, that a deeper champ pool can bring. You know? Like, Anivia is great because she's, like, if you you can stall the game out and, and you can do a ton of damage in, like, a few seconds. And you have a lot of utility and, you know, the burst. But maybe in some games I needed to play Cassidy. You know, maybe I was playing against a, a Fizz or, a, or an Echo and I played Anivia where I could have won lane a little bit easier with Cassidy. You know, that opens up, that opens up the, the map and the game to a whole, you know, to a whole different... Uh, win condition, you know? Because if I'm playing Anivia versus someone that can like two-shot me, my goal is to survive and maybe I can't, you know, roam the map or I can't do this, I can't do that. So, being very flexible, being adaptable is uh, one of the 
main things I have to work on, and that comes from learning a champion. You know, with ADC, it was a lot easier because at the end of the day, ADC's role is just to do a bunch of damage, you know, kill tanks and kill towers. You know, maybe Ash plays a little bit different from Tristana, or Ezreal plays a little different from Caitlyn. But more or less, you're going to position the same. You're going to, you know, uh, you're going to attack the thing in front of you, and you're going to uh, just deal as much damage as you can, and you're going to get it, like, jumped on. But with mid lane, like, the range and champion role can change so much. Like, a Cassidy plays different from an Anivia. You know, a Fizz plays different from an Orianna. Uh, who else? I, I really only know. A Syndra might play a little different from a, a Diana. You know, and... Uh, and that... Like, you're still in mid lane. You still have to roam. You still have to, like, win your lane. All this. But... When it comes to your role in a fight, that can change in a way that doesn't change that much when you're playing an ADC. And it's true for top lane and all that too. But that's where I was stuck in mid lane, you know? Because I can play Anivia, I'll play her this way, I can play her this way almost every game, and that'll help me improve and that'll help me climb. I think that logic is sound. That follows, that's fine. But I may have had to play so much better than my opponent playing Anivia when I could have played Cassidy or Orianna or Syndra and had gotten better results from that. So like So that's a failure from from this season. But I really like Anivia, I don't know. Like it's like I said before, do I invest time in a new champion or do I invest time into getting really good with one champion? I think I definitely have to open that up. I have to, I have to main at least three champions. I want to say, and that'll give me some flexibility, and I'll be able to do what I can do. Uh, what else? Another fail. I didn't play enough games. Like, I played a lot of games on my alts, but I did not play enough games on my my main. And at the end of the day, the only way you're going to climb is to play, and the only way you get better is to play against people that are, you know, near your skill or higher. And the only way you're going to get exposed to this is if you play more games. But it doesn't matter if you're a challenger. If you only play 10 games, you might not land in challenger, you know? Same thing with me. Like, maybe if I would have played... I think I played... How many games did I play? Maybe less than 150 in ranked on my account? That doesn't seem right. Might be even less than 100. But what am I gonna do with that? What data do I what what do I learn from these hundred games? You know, because like I don't even know that's not even a high enough sample size to know like what exactly I might need to improve on, you know? Like I I guess I don't really have time to play a thousand games in a season, which kinda sucks. I wish I did. But like I think I have to play way more than that. I, then I could, then at least it's it's practice, you know. Then at least I'm putting time into different aspects of my game, and that would hopefully lead to improving. Uh, yeah, I've, I've had the recording stuff already. That one's really disappointed. I have like a ton of games, and I should have recorded vlogs more. I should have talked things out a little bit more. Maybe even written things down. I think that's important. And writing things down. Just to keep it fresh in your mind, just to, I mean, like, I think Skyro does little post-its on his corner of his monitor, just to, I think he, he, he notes his mistakes in certain games, or when he gets first blood, or OP champions and all that. Like, I need to, I need to, like, keep things, like, I have to record things, and I have to actually be engaged. Like, I have so many games where I straight up got dunked on. And I don't know if it's just because I'm in a bad mood, but then I never look at the games again. And that's like, that's so dumb because, like, what am I doing with that recording then, you know? Other games, it's like, like, let's say, like, if I get first blooded because I get, like, dove or whatever. And it's like, in my head, I'm like, alright, what am I going to learn from this? I got, you know, I got, they dove me and I died. Like, that's it. Like, what, 
like how do you improve around like, how do you improve, improve upon that like what are you going to do differently you know but there is things you can do you know like maybe it won't matter every game but some games you don't want to get pushed under tower you know i usually do because then i feel that's an easy game for my jungler but you have to look at what the what their jungler brings to the table you know and these are things that you have to keep in mind and that's why you want to record a game and that's why you should look at your recordings and you have to look at what what you did wrong like part of me part of it that gets me is that i'm not at the level where little micro mistakes will lose you a whole game i don't think i'm there like you know that that stuff matters way in diamond way in masters way in challenger like a little you know like there's this one not guide but there's this translation of dopa where like he's playing twist of fate against fizz and like the fizz autos a minion and he says oh i won and dopa says oh i won the lane and it's like he can that matters to him does that does me autoing a minion really change the outcome of my games like probably not right but that doesn't mean they're not important and especially if i practice things now by the time i get as i'm climbing as it as they actually matter then i'm already practiced in this right that's my mentality of it like i remember i remember when i played starcraft 2 a lot people mentioned that in on the korean server bronze silvers and gold all practice their uh their medevac drops like that's not super advanced but I mean, like, if if you're practicing medevac drops, you're not really practicing, like, your, your macro, which is a lot more important at lower leagues. But by practicing more advanced techniques, you know, they're... It's like playing with... It's like exercising with weighted clothes on, you know? When... It, no, that's not a good example. They practice an advanced technique in lower levels, and they'll learn to get better at the basic stuff, and the more advanced stuff that'll already be good at. That might not be the right mentality, but stuff like that does matter eventually, you know? I don't know, I felt like a like I'm rambling there for a bit. Hope that made sense. Uh what else? I don't know if you guys can hear my dog barking, but he's barking. She's barking rather. Uh overall I'm happy with where I am. I feel like I can still get better and not just me like I play with a couple people who they get really down on themselves and they're like oh I'm where I belong this is as far as I'm gonna get but I'm of the mentality that you can no matter where you are you can improve something you know and like not every bronze 5 player can be challenger you know but you can go from bronze 5 to bronze 4 you know that's I think everyone has that ability everyone if they put real effort in if they put their mind to it if they have the right attitude if they have the right mentality and if they practice you know you can be a little better than you are maybe step by step you can go from bronze 5 to silver 5 it's I've, i promise that it's doable you know like barring like I don't know, I was going to say that you're missing fingers, but I've seen people that are missing hands and they're still able to climb. So there's really no excuse. If your goal is to improve, you will improve. And from improving, you'll climb. But it's very important that your goal is to improve and not just to wake up one day and be gold one, you know? You have to take it one game at a time. You have to take it, like... Like reduce the game to certain steps. You know, you have to play the five first five minutes correctly. You have to play the next five minutes correctly. You have to play the next five minutes correctly, and that can mean so many different things from game to game, which kind of sucks. Like it makes it really hard to improve. But if you keep that in mind, you will eventually get better. I promise. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know if I'm talking to the internet, if I'm talking to myself, but make a conscious effort and you'll see results period and i think i did well doing that this season there are things i have to work on 
I know I have to work on them. I have to be a lot better at my looking at reviews. I have to be a lot better at practicing. I have to be a lot better at uh, um, recording these vlogs. I have to be a lot better at uh, consuming guides and watching specific streams. But that's all do. Excuse me. That's all doable. And doing all that, I will climb. Like maybe, maybe I'll even hit diamond five this preseason. Uh, I hope I didn't ramble too much. This was kind of a long vlog. Um, I will try to make a vlog about the preseason changes. Uh, so far, they're pretty fun. It makes the game fun again. Um, I don't think it changed that much. Like people are saying that. It, it was a huge change, but at the end of the day, like ADCs are still ADCs, mid laners are still mid laners. Are there some OP champions? Yeah. But pick them or ban them, you know? But, and, and just have fun. You know, it's preseason. Go nuts, play normals, do whatever you want, change the runes up, learn every rune. I think there's like 75 new runes, which is kind of crazy. It's going to take you a while to get good at them. But, that's it for season two. That's it for the 2017 season. I hope everyone accomplished what they set out to accomplish. Uh, have fun this preseason, and we'll talk before next season. GGS. Thanks for watching.